Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Hansen. Today, I'm gonna show you how paradise looks like here in Sumatra because I am in Krui. My plan was to stay at Arsenio homestay for three to four days, but unfortunately, we had misunderstood each other, so I could only stay for two days. So my first morning in Gisting, I was invited to an English school to tell them a bit about my journey, a wonderful initiative that I would happily support. And it was an honor and a privilege to share a bit of motivation with them. Semangat, guys. In the afternoon, I went with the lovely homestay family who had invited me for lunch and we went to a highly recommended place called Lintana Garden where you can sit outside and enjoy your wonderful lunch in a quiet and relaxing environment. Ooh, looks good, yeah? Sambal. <laughs> Lapa? Indonesian food! Punyanya mas itu, mas Chris. tangan dulu. Nita and Ipul first met at their former jobs at a gold mine before they had their beautiful son Neo and Ipul is now a full-time trader providing for his family. <laughs> and as I can no longer do my regular morning workouts in a gym, I've had to come up with something else. So on the morning of departure, I did my road trip workout as I call it, rope skipping and lifting my luggage. All right guys, and after two wonderful nights here at our Senior homestay, it's unfortunately time to leave. So I will be heading to Krui today. It's going to be a fantastic ride through a national park. Bukit Barisan Salatan. Let's get to it. Keep safe. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for hearing everything, yeah? Yeah, yeah. See you, bro. Nita. <laughs> Take care, yeah? Happy All the best. Take care. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. See you guys. Back on the roads, absolutely fantastic people all around. What do you think, Turanga? Is it good to be back on the road? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. So, Ipul, Nita, and Neo, and Risa, when you're watching this, thank you so much for everything. And it's starting to rain. <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> I just stopped it. <laughs> oh well. All right, let's cue in some music. Hit it. Three hours, 22 minutes, and 156 kilometers to go. To Krui. And the place I will be staying at today and for the next four nights will be a place called B Ocean Krui. It looked amazing on the pictures, and I could really use a few days just to edit, maybe relax a little bit, and of course, make some video. But I'm gonna try and focus a bit on really relaxing as well and enjoying exactly why I came out here. This one is officially one of my new favorite things. It's like a hydro flask in a bag that I put inside the backpack and it's insulated so it keeps the water cool for such a long time. So I've just made a quick stop here off the road because there's a really nice view here behind me. Since I'm standing near the road, most of the cars, most of the bikes passing, they're all honking their horns, waving. There are even two cars that stopped here before just so they could get a picture with me. Hello, 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 hello. I think it's important when doing a trip like this that you take time to stop at the beautiful places because sometimes I catch myself saying, ah, I'll stop at the next nice place I'll stop at the next nice place but then you end up missing it and since I have plenty of time I don't want to miss anything all right, time to move on. So I gotta say, one of the best things about these last few days is that in Gisting, it's quite high in altitude. We're actually up in the mountains, so it's been really cool. So this morning, it was almost a bit cold for me to be driving without a jacket. 
but now I'm slowly moving down the mountains and actually right in front of me now I can see the coastline so uh, it's starting to get a lot hotter now that's what I mean when I say Indonesia has everything here you want to live a cold place can you want to live in a very hot place can I had then reached Kota Agung a small sub-district in the Lampung province first visited by the Dutch in 1889 a small city indeed and with a beautiful location at the foot of Mount Tangamos. As I was leaving the city, more greenery started to appear and more beauty was yet to come. Oh my god! Look at this place! So much green! We have palm trees, we have rice fields, mountains. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be here! Oh, yes! Woo! This is living, baby! Are you happy, Taranga? Are you happy? Yeah, me too. This is why I'm doing this, for views like this. I shouldn't be that far, actually, from the national park. I just quickly want to check. So yeah, within the next 15 minutes I should be going into Taman Nasional Bukit Parisan Selatan, which basically means the national park. Bukit Parisan is the mountain uh, range that goes all the way from South Sumatra all the way up to North Sumatra and Selatan means South. These unexpected stops are, no doubt, the best stops, and not only because of the views, but because I always end up chatting with someone. Asli dari Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. You want to say hi to hi. YouTube? Hello. Indonesia. Hello, Ba. Hello. Okay, let's get a photo, yeah? I met this young guy, Bayou, and I noticed he only had one arm. So I asked, and he told me it had been removed in 2019 due to osteoporosis, a condition that weakens the bones. And I was amazed. Still with one arm, he was driving around town with his bike and with the birds, and with a positive attitude that really inspired me. Simangan, bro, you are awesome. Oh, once again, fantastic meeting so many nice people. Hi, girls. So, actually, the last, ever since I got off the ferry, the roads have been fantastic. Wow, I wish that the roads in Java were as good as they are here in Sumatra. But now they just told me, the guys I met, that I have to be a bit careful because the roads going into the national park here isn't that fantastic and I have to be super careful because apparently there's a lot of monkeys so that should be exciting going up some seriously steep hills here oh come on Turanga we got this we got this girl Kampang Dong ain't nothing the 390 can't handle Ain't that right, Taranga? Yeah, thought so. Selamat datang di Taman Nasional Bukit Barisan Selatan. I'm officially now driving, guys, in one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites because there's three major national parks here in Sumatra. Leuser, and it's this one, and one more, I can't remember the last one. And they are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. I feel quite lucky to be able to be allowed to, to drive here. Oh, and one thing I will say, you have to be super careful when driving. Even though the roads are really good here, there is tons of dogs here running past the road and um, soon probably a lot of monkeys too and there's a lot of lorries so if you come here please drive safe yeah even though the road is good jangan cepatan yeah don't do speeding hey 
That was a big monkey. Did you see the big monkey? It was massive. Ooh. See, this is why you don't want to be speeding. Wow, that monkey was huge. Jesus Christmas. Wow. Hello. I thought it would be small monkeys. It's very big monkeys. Ah, here we go. And I'm on it. Good day, monkeys. Oh, look at look at here, all the monkeys. Oh, wow, there's so many. Look at it. Ah, oh, small babies. Wow, look, 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 look. So many. Wow. And the reason I'm not stopping, guys, is because I've heard about other people stopping to say hi to the monkeys. And then the monkeys will jump on the bike, jump on the car. So yeah, apparently it has to be a little bit dangerous here. Also because I definitely don't want to be bitten by a monkey. Not today. Wow, I'm officially driving on my motorcycle in a national park with monkeys. This is like being in a zoo, but without any fences. Good night, mate. How's it going? Wow, look at this male. Wow, he was giving me a proper stare down. And the Sumatran tiger and the rhino and the elephant as well, they are super rare and not a lot of left so this is one of the things that i really want to explore in sumatra wow. <laughs> coming out of the national park i noticed a couple of travelers had stopped on the side of the road hello guys oh kebungkulu yeah ke dari dari bali oh dari bali yeah oh wow Mantap. Salam kenal. Saya Chris. Yo yo. Dimas. Mas, yo yo. Adit. What's up guys? Dari mana? Dari Denmark. Denmark. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Eh, uh, saya mau pergi ke Sabang. Mau ke Sabang? Ya. Yeah. Hmm, saya mau naik. mulai dari Sabang sampai Merauke. Iya, iya, iya. Ya, satu tahun naik motor sendiri. Kayak ini. Ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, guys. Okay. Nice to meet you, yeah. Sukses selalu, sehat selalu. Cici DJ. And assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, guys. Bye. Adios. You. Nice to meet other riders here on the road. It's actually what I've experienced is on the road here in Sumatra, basically the same as I experienced in Europe. When I would meet other touring riders, we would honk and wave. And I didn't think this was possible here in Indonesia, but apparently it is. So when I see other riders here, then they also honk. That's so nice, you know? See another fellow rider, another fellow traveler, you honk and you wave. Wish them safe journey. I like that a lot. 18 kilo lagi. Okay, okay. Okay, kita jalan. Ya. Yeah. Pelan-pelan. Oh, Sampai pelan -pelan. tujuan ya. Yeah. Okay, Pak. Makasih. Yeah. Oh. Assalamualaikum. Salam. <laughs> so I am 20 minutes from my location for today. And for the last 45 minutes, an hour, I've just been driving on these long, long roads along the coastline. And it's so beautiful. There's palm trees on the sides. There's Hindu temples. There's plenty of cows. And it's just long, straight, good roads. I mean, look at these roads. It's just perfect. Such a nice place to ride a motorcycle and beautiful view. So now I'm really tired and I'm ready to get to the location. So let's go ahead and go there right now. All right, 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 right. Destination is on the right. Okay, it should be here. Wait, right, there it is. B Ocean Cree. There we go. Wow, 
Oh, check this out. I can see the ocean right that way. All right. This is it. Let's go and check out the place. Hello, guys. Hi. You must be Alicia. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Where are you guys from? We are from the Canary Islands originally. Oh, really? Which one? Tenerife. I used to live in Tenerife. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool, cool. Come and round and say, say hello. Yes, will do. All right. Time to unpack Turanga. And oh, get some makanan. I am so hungry. But before we unpack, I just quickly want to show you. Hello. Salam kanal. Saya Chris. Salam kanal. Wow, this is it. Hello. Salam kanal. Saya Chris. Novita. Novita. Nice to meet you. Saya Chris. I'm Novi. Novi, nice to meet you. All right, I have now arrived here at B Ocean Krui. And it's been a really long day, so I'm gonna unpack my things. I wanna chat a bit with the owner and the staff here. So my room is right there. And I'll show you guys tomorrow. But first, check this out. Wow, look how beautiful it is. There's literally less than 10 meters from the pool to the ocean. So I'll show you guys more tomorrow. Sama besa, okay? Bye. day starts slow at B Ocean Krui. This place is so beautiful and so quiet, it's almost impossible not to feel relaxed. So my days here start with overlooking the ocean before heading for breakfast and meeting the smiling B Ocean staff. <laughs> I'm a long way from the junk I would normally order on GoFood in Jakarta. And it's nice to finally eat some healthy food for a change. Overlooking the pool and the ocean, I've checked into a small villa. The rooms here are neat, minimalistic, and with this kind of Bali vibe. Even with all the mess that I'm bringing into it, it's still nice. I did not expect to find this kind of places when I first set off from Jakarta, but I did. I haven't been at a place this peaceful and beautiful in a long time, so after breakfast I enjoy the morning views and remind myself how lucky I am to be here. Walking here on the beach in Krui, I kind of feel like I'm in that movie, what is it called, with Tom Hanks, where he's stuck on an island, because it looks a lot like that, but actually it's just eight hours from Jakarta. Krui is world famous for its surfing spots. So a lot of surfers come here every year to catch the high and nice waves. And since I have plenty of time, I've decided to stay here for 10 days. I can honestly say that I have not been this relaxed since I was in Muntilan with Omuki. You know, here we're doing earthing, walking on our bare feet, enjoying the view of the ocean and getting tons of good food. But let me show you. The owners here, Alicia and Max, invited me for dinner one night, so we all sat down together with their kids, Dylan and Malik, and their American neighbor, Amy, as well. The first few days I spent at B Ocean Krui went down like this, with the coffee in my hand, the ocean in front of me, editing. And when I needed a break, I would meet the boys at the beach. 
Uy. <laughs> the boys they love fishing and playing with the staff. And what a wonderful way to grow up. So I sat down with their parents, Alicia and Max, and asked them to share a bit about how they achieved this dream of a life. Hello, I am Max. Hi, I'm Alicia. We are both from the Canary Islands. Yeah. Uh, Spain. I'm half Chinese and half Spanish. A bit of a mix. We ha I'm half British, half Spanish. We come here for like a, the plan was to come with my friend for five months to Indonesia, all around Indonesia. But uh, we get stuck in Bali. There was one guy talking about Sumatra, South Sumatra, the, the name Krui came up. Yeah. And we were all searching on, on uh, Google Earth, where it is and how to, how to get there. It was almost impossible <laughs> at the time. Um, 12? It's, it's, it's 2010. And we are in? 2022, 12 years. 12 yeah. years, 12 so years, yeah. Well, yeah. What started as a casual kind of like surf trip, it became kind of like a magical kind of thing in the end because we, we did fell, fell in love with, with, with the whole area. Almost everybody would, would offer you a piece of land at that point. At that point, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, 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 everyone was if like... If you were a foreigner, almost, almost everybody that owned a piece of land would kind of offer you land to buy and it, it's been worth yeah. it all the way through. All the struggle, the lifestyle, the lifestyle that we have, you know, these days, especially with our two kids, it's been worth it all the way through. Sometimes we are so focused on the war, yeah? But when you stop and you look around, you know, like you just stop for a second and look what you did, what we did, you know? Um, and all the, all the, um, all the moments we live here it is, is that dream come true actually? It is, yeah, no bad. Yeah. <laughs> no bad, yeah. Well, many people are trying to, to escape from the crowds, yeah. Um, this is kind of, of what happened to us, you know, we get in love of, of, of the wild of this place, you know, like, and many people, the, more the surfers, they, they escape from the crowds of, of Bali, yeah. Bali is really, it's amazing, you know, you have a lot of party, a lot of uh, shopping, a lot of uh, food, There's a... a lot of people and traffic jam, <laughs> you know, like uh, we kind of offer something completely different as Bali, you know. It's probably the, in, the real Indonesian uh, trip, you know, like you get off the plane and you land in Bandar Lampun and you're like, yeah, you're a long way from Krui, but you know that you have uh, a reward to get to <laughs> and you go through the jungle and you know you go through all these little towns and you meet all these these you know the beautiful people along the way and it's a it's a is the indo mission it's an indo mission but uh yeah so is that that real indonesian uh trip i mean uh, what well, happened for example in bali if you go to a normal wave you will find 50 100 people in the water yeah here you have 10 people you know like 15 maximum. And, you know, you go further 15, 20, 30 minutes from Krui and you're, you're already in the middle of nowhere and in the jungle. You can escape to little rivers up the river and, and do some kind of like jungle missions where you, will, you won't find a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so after hearing about Max and Alicia's jungle adventures, I thought it would be a good idea to go and see it for myself. So I met up with their recommended tour guide, and he was a nice guy. We are in jungle. So today we are as Bobby Banana would say, we are in the jungle. Because look at this track. And today we're here in Krui because we want to find a small waterfall. This place is only like 10 minutes from B Ocean. So it's a perfect little place to go. If you're staying at B Ocean or in Krui, and you want to do a bit of adventure exploring. And this guy says, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hello. AKA Banana Bobby. Because <laughs> Bobby Banana, he lives on Pulau Pisang. Which is a small island we will be visiting one of the next couple of days. Going to the island Monday, yeah? On Monday, we Monday. go. Yep. And we are wearing proper hiking footwear today. Indonesian style. 
flip flops. Whoa, it's some narrow trails here. Whew. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> yeah. I just asked Bobby if there is any poisonous snakes out here. And he said, yeah, a couple. Apparently they are green and black. So if you've seen whoa, green or black snakes in Sumatra, then don't touch them. <laughs> this trail is definitely amazing. So much fresh air and we're pretty much just walking in water the entire time. But it's not easy. There's no straight path. It's walking in water on rocks in mud the entire time but so far worth it Getting to Paradise Waterfalls in Krui is definitely not easy, especially in flip-flops. But it's something that I believe most people can manage, and it's the perfect reward being able to swim underneath a cool waterfall at the end of a hike. Something I will highly recommend to anyone who comes to Krui. Oh, okay. Worth visiting. <laughs> so worth it. We did however notice on the way back that a small blood-sucking animal, a leech, had sucked onto my skin during our jungle hike. Medicine in Bali, they use for the medicine. He took the dirty blood of your body. Ah, he's taking the dirty blood? Yeah. Ah. Ping, 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 ping. So, what do you think about the waterfalls? It was very, very nice. Fantastic experience. Thank wow. you so much, bro. It's perfect. We ended a proper good day with a short ride to the local surf shop, which has probably the coolest name I've seen to date. Hello Mister. Albert, who owns it, sells outstanding coffee, and together with his friends, he invited us for a small chat, coffee, and sunset to end the day. And it was perfect. And that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned because in the next episode, Bobby Banana and I goes to Pulau Pisang, aka Banana Island.